Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. In today's show, I have another news piece to share with you, and this one revolves around another leak by Samsung, and this time it's for the Galaxy Note 9. Now, this latest news was reported by that famous leakster, Evan Blass, and this time you could apparently pre-order the Galaxy Note 9 on Samsung's own website, and keep in mind that the device won't even officially be launched until August 9th. Now, while the page was up, it read, Say hello to superpower and then you could click on the button and be, quote, one of the first to experience it. Now, before this oops, you did have the ability to reserve your place in line to pre-order, but a reservation in itself is not an actual order, so it's pretty amazing that for a time, you could have actually jumped a line over all those that reserved a spot. Okay, and now for the other piece that was leaked by Samsung, and this came from New Zealand, was the official intro video for the Galaxy Note 9, and I'm gonna share it right here for you guys. This is the first official look of the Note 9 in great detail, both for the phone as well as that new S Pen, which you can see here is available in yellow when you match it with the blue version of the phone. The video also reveals that it's going to have 512 gigabytes of memory, plus it will support up to an additional 512 gigabytes of memory as an SD card, which means you will have a total of one terabyte of total storage, which is pretty amazing. Now I'm really starting to wonder if all these leaks by Samsung are in fact accidents or intentional because just last week Samsung leaked photos of the new Galaxy Watch on its own website. Now Samsung did pull that page after a media outlet reported it to Samsung and even though this pre-order page for the Galaxy Note 9 has also been removed, it really makes you wonder if these oopses by Samsung are intentional. I mean, we only need to look back as far as February to find another example where a video for the Galaxy S9 was leaked before the launch event, and that video gave details of all the phone's features. Anyways, going back to the Galaxy Note 9, unfortunately that pre-order page has been taken down by Samsung, but you still can reserve your spot in line to pre-order when it becomes available. So what do you guys think about all these leaks by Samsung? Do you think that they're intentional to create further hype, or do you really think it was human error that led to these postings? Let me know in the comments below. I'll continue to keep you guys updated on the latest news, and just a reminder, we're now only six days away from the official launch of the Galaxy Note 9 and the Samsung Galaxy Watch, so stay tuned for more. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.